Hi guys, Larry from Oregon Coast, November 17th, and I'm getting ready to do my third update on growing winter strawberries. I started these strawberries right around September 7th, so they've been growing for right around 71 days, and man, they are really taking off. Starting to get some good flowering, and uh, I'm really happy how everything's going so Starting far. Starting to produce some nice flowers, and uh, even getting a few strawberries here, so we're going to do a quick overview. And these are June bearing, short day variety, and they're at Chandler strawberries. But uh, a little nervous at first, wasn't getting a whole lot of flowers, but uh, man, they're really starting to take off. Just uh, really starting to flower quite a bit. And there's some more strawberries. So uh, looks like we might be able to, maybe we'll be cutting them pretty close there to see if I can get a strawberry too for uh, our Christmas time. One of the cool things about growing in DWC is that um, you can pop your plant up and, uh, and check out the roots and see how everything's going. But man, look at those roots. Really taking off. Not exactly uh, perfect. You want them uh, white, but I've been uh, really busy buying a new house and uh, pretty much working two jobs. So I haven't uh, done a very good job taking care of this. Now here's a closer look at one of the plants. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's it's big, and it's been a uh, it's been a couple weeks at least since I uh, changed the water. Is that a worm? Yeah, <laughs> even got a worm that snuck in there. But uh, it's been a couple weeks. This aquarium heater, the, the idea I got from Brock Hughes there. Another little worm living in my reservoir. As you can tell, I haven't been a uh, really keeping up on the maintenance on this, on this system. I really think that uh, aquarium heater is really doing the trick. It's uh, 40 degrees here in the, in the greenhouse and uh, the strawberries look like they're growing in, uh, in the summertime. Just awesome results. Awesome. And for the air I'm just using this little uh, aquarium air pump and that seems to be doing the trick. Uh, I first started I was using my bigger uh, bigger air compressor but um, I had a pack packing stuff up and shutting stuff down so I just pretty much just got this little guy going and uh, pretty much looks like that's all you need. And the reservoir is just a little six gallon uh, tote that you can pick up at your local box store, Walmart, Fred Meyer, whatever you got around. And you probably pick these up for you know under 10 bucks. And so far, uh, so far the six gallon tote seems to be working. Uh, Plants are starting to get pretty crowded. Uh, probably should have um, grabbed a bigger container. Could end up with uh, some mold issues and stuff with uh, the plants being so tight together. But uh, so far, the vegetation looks awesome. I had a couple questions on the nutrients I was using. I'm using a product called ChemGrow. It's basically uh, a commercial hydroponic nutrient. And then uh, you can pick that up at Hydro Gardens out of Colorado. And I picked up a 25 pound bag for right around, I believe it was right around $41. And the shipping to my area was about 15. So 56 bucks for 25 pounds of uh, nutrients is a pretty darn good deal. I was uh, growing with the General Hydroponics uh, Maxi Grow. And I was paying about $16 for a two pound bag. Really good stuff, but uh, I don't see any difference between. Uh, the general hydroponics in this chem grow. Really, really happy with the this stuff. formula I'm using is the the hobby formula and it's a 10 8 22. And it's kind of like the all around um, all around nutrient that the chem grow came up with for uh, hobby hobby uh, growers and stuff like that. So I used it the, um, the end of December on my t tomatoes, pumpkins, and um, my outdoor uh, st strawberry tower and um, Man, this stuff's really awesome, really awesome. And for my nutrient strength, when I first started, the uh, weather was um, quite a bit warmer. I was running right around 1,000 p.m. And with the colder weather, I dropped down to about 600 to 500 ppm. Um, I was just kind of worried about when the when it starts getting cold, they don't use as much uh, much of the well, nitrogen. I, can spit out. <clears throat> I was a little bit worried about the nitrogen burn. Um, from what I understand, they don't consume as much when it starts getting colder. So even with these lower uh, PPMs from four to six hundred uh, plants look really really healthy.
Well, there's uh, three other YouTubers that I know of are also growing uh, winter strawberries and hydroponics. And I just want to do a quick shout out. Um, Rock Hughes channel, put a link there. He's got some winter strawberries growing. And Dale from Easy Grow it, Grows It, he's uh, got some winter strawberries growing on. And uh, I believe Slee Stacks uh, Rule, he was talking about getting some going on his in his uh, indoor garden. So I'll put links to all three of those channels to end the video. Well, folks, this is should be my last video of this greenhouse. We just bought a place. It's supposed to close this Friday, and uh, we'll be moving. So I'm probably gonna have to come up with some uh, a quick make makeshift uh, greenhouse for for these bad boys, or uh, might bring them indoors, put them under some artificial light. I'm not sure. Uh, depends on the time I have available. Just a little five foot by six foot greenhouse, and uh, had a lot of fun at my very first greenhouse. Next one's gonna be a lot bigger, a lot better, and can't wait to get that one going. But uh, kind of sad to see see this one go. All right, guys. Hopefully uh, everything goes right, and uh, I'll see you at my new house. All right. Hopefully everybody's has uh, a good winter. Take care. Have a good one.